James Kaufman, World News Report today, folks. It's September 14th, 2020. It's 11 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. You're looking at a food line, folks. This food line in Chesterfield, Virginia, is tens of miles long. It's to the food bank there, folks. I warned you, food is almost gone for everybody. People are desperate. Folks, the government has driven us into this on purpose. They need a civil conflict desperately to cover their many crimes against the nation and society. These are actual pictures from Virginia, Houston, Texas, my hometown, Dallas, all over the country, folks. This looks like something that, uh, like cars parked at uh, a car lot. But these are people waiting in line for food, folks. It's already happening all across the country in just a few days after I warned y'all. I am taken by surprise, folks. This is a food line. I'll continue. My daughter has been with us all week, and uh, her school was just closed down for COVID. They've had several cases. The only school in our whole county, of course, an elementary school, with all the col- uh, high schools, colleges, and junior highs, her elementary school, the best number one elementary school in the district, of course, was stricken with the COVID. Now she's basically on lockdown. We all should be on lockdown, folks. This is another food line, folks. They're all over the place. I'm going to be the first one to bring you this news, but I won't be the last, I'll assure you. This is happening everywhere yesterday, Sunday, and today. Food lines are throughout the nation, folks. This is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I'm not talking about thousands of people. I'm talking about hundreds of thousands of people. These lines are forming before sunbreak, folks. And this is Virginia, where I first learned about it an hour ago. This is everywhere around the country. When I found pictures of my hometown... And the lines here, I just about dropped to the ground, folks. There are great organizations and people helping out, folks, but these lines are more than anyone can imagine. These people are desperate, and they're waiting in lines for hours just to get food, folks. How do they afford the gas? I have no idea. No major news network is covering this, and it's happening in every state. Nancy Pelosi is at home right now wondering which flavor of $14 a pint ice cream to eat out of her $50,000 refrigerator that she bought with your money while everyone's in lines across the country trying to get enough food to feed their children. I only wish I was kidding, folks. These lines are everywhere I looked, and I am flabbergasted. This happened quicker than anyone could imagine, and it's all around the United States, folks. Imagine what the other countries must be going through. This food line here is in Texas, as you can see, folks. It goes on as far as the eye can see. It's tragic. The estimates look like at least 44% of Americans cannot buy their food this week, folks. That is a staggering number of almost 200 million people. This is Pennsylvania, folks, and the headline reads that thousands of people line up for food, thousands of cars 6,000 in San Antonio, Texas today alone. 5,000 cars lined up at one food bank in Los Angeles. The food bank uh, usage has increased 543% in three days. The latest is the food banks are now closing, folks, and they're losing their workers for because they don't have any food themselves. And the Guard, National Guard, is coming in to try to help folks. This is why the government's been buying food. I've been warning you guys for over a month. Please share this video. Please be warned. Buy canned food. Foods with lots of shelf life, long-term shelf life. This is it. It's over, folks. If anyone's wondering what time it is, folks, it's time to worry. These people are all in line for food. Please share the video. Please, please. I I may be down, but I'm not out. Way to go, buddy. It took us three days to make that potato salad. Three days!